Taurus, welcome back to Joy and Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, that information is also on the page. Just log on from a laptop and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Taurus on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 3.41 a.m. and today is May 23rd of 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Today is a very important day, the 23rd of May or whatever day that you see this. But more importantly, I was hearing tonight at midnight things are turning up a notch, okay? So I feel like the entire day is gonna be extremely serendipitous, but midnight is gonna be like the fireworks at the end of the 4th of July. It's just gonna tie everything together. So we'll see. Also feel free to come back and comment, you know, whatever happens for you guys. Yeah, High Priest is here. So set a set a timer for six hours 39 minutes and 16 seconds you guys are going to receive confirmation of this reading when it goes off also you might want to go check out the aquarius reading it's called at 6 39 p.m everything changes i feel like that is significant for you as well also um you could be dealing with an aries or an aquarius some of you are about to launch something online here also go back in your camera roll something about january 17th could be coming full circle I would check my camera roll, notes, text, you know, just whatever you have that will help you recall um, that day. So my shirt, if you look at my shirt, it says friends, but if you look a little bit closely, you'll see that these are all scary movie uh, characters. And what I feel like is that you found your soul tribe and I feel like it's extremely tribal. Now, let me explain. You know how sometimes people say, oh, like one call, that's all. With you guys, I'm getting the nod of a head puts you in a hospital bed type of energy. Like it takes one look between you and somebody else, another soul tribe member, and whoever is causing commotion, causing problems, step into you guys. It's like the next thing they remember is somebody waking them up like, are you okay? can you hear me you know what i mean so i just feel like you guys are extremely protective of one another you guys all have each other's back and you see yeah success here you guys are a really great team so the people that you have around you you can trust you picked well but like look how intimidating they are like that's not that's not a, a team that's not um a tribe that you really want to step to you know also I was hearing that song during Gemini season. I feel like um, your tribe's theme song is Bad to the Bone. It's like bad to the bone. Boo, 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 bad. I don't know who sings it, but I just remember that song. Hold on, bad to the... It's, it's by George Thorogood. He could be born in 1982 for some of you. But yeah, that's your theme song for Gemini season. Also, I was seeing you and your like little gang of people or your group, you know, in animated shows, how they'll have that small car and like 30 adults get out of the car, like a clown car. I was seeing you guys rolling hella deep. Like I'm seeing so many people get out of one car, like hella cars pull up and everybody gets out. Also, I was hearing you guys are going through the back door Everyone in this group could hold some type of title. It could differ, but I feel like it's, everyone's like equally as respected as the next person. I also feel like there's a lot of respect in this dynamic here. Um, but I'm seeing you guys in different timelines. So whoever, if you don't know, like if you don't know what this is yet, this is what you're walking into. But I'm seeing so many different timelines. Like I said, I saw you guys. I'm seeing you as this here. Then I saw you in the clown car. Then I was seeing you guys in a pirate ship, you know, and I was seeing you guys all pull up black flags with the skulls on them like, ah, so 
if you feel like a really strong pull or like there's this underlying loyalty i feel like you guys have gathered in many lifetimes i'm getting like a brotherhood a sisterhood type energy but yeah you guys are a force to be motherfucking reckoned reckon with is what i'm hearing um moving forward you might know somebody who hit their head and they might have to go to a hospital also something about taco tuesday you guys could be making tacos obviously i was hearing pollo asada lingua just take it how it resonates um your inner truth is under lock and key that could be metaphorical or that could be literal I'm also seeing people um you might be like a psychic you could be in the spiritual community but it's like if people try to do readings on you to get information on you it's like your guys just like throw them all the way off you know they're not able to make sense of what's going on so your inner truth is under lock and key or this could be a literal thing where it's like your birth certificate your records all the things that you need Need to understand who you are as a person and where you come from it can't be accessed because it's locked away or it could be you know something about records could be significant here so yeah just take it how it resonates mm, this looks like birth right here birth records denial number seven in reverse chariot seven upright some of you are about to get some clarity about where you come from or about some information about yourself that you didn't previously know which brings me to this point yeah on may 25th through the 27th your mother could be a theme like a conversation with her might shed light on something also the 27th of may is going to be a very important day for some of you not for everybody but there could be something exposed like a third party situation especially if you are dealing with a virgo or a sagittarius this could also be like a long distance relationship or somebody who has to work and travel a lot you know um but yeah i was hearing fly away so just take it how it resonates you'll know if that's for you it may not be for everyone for others of you this could be something coming out about your career your job you know your place of employment um i also feel like there's something that you need to make sure you pay by june 11th or the repercussions are gonna be pretty serious like it would be easier to just go ahead and take care of it than to wait and then let things accumulate i'm hearing so if you have any tickets if you have anything you you know you need to take care of taurus energy go ahead and get it done because you're gonna wish that you did also you may be invited to like a gala or some type of fancy event on june 24th i was hearing 6 p.m so just make sure you know stay ready so you never have to get ready and then lastly i was hearing you need to stay in the camel the spirit the spirit animal of the camel you need to maintain that energy until july 18th yeah denial in reverse i've been talking about this day for almost a year but on july 18th the nodes switch so a lot of things that are solid right now are going to become suddenly pretty rocky a lot of things that are stable right now some things are falling apart so that what's meant to be in all areas of your life can be um i'm hearing formulated so your best bet especially if you're single you're not really involved you're not really invested in anything per se just try to maintain the camel energy you know the camel has his hump all the water stored in there you know water symbolizes your emotions so it's not like you're just kind of giving all your water away but it's like you have it contained compartmentalized you know you access it when you need it but other than that you just continue on your way on your journey so that's going to be very important just to avoid any unnecessary like upsets heartbreak all of that noise you know also i was hearing you're gonna get a really big discount on something something may cost 480 dollars or you may be receiving 480 dollars also something about two tickets you could be buying or somebody may surprise you with maybe the total cost of that was 480 dollars also soccer you may enjoy soccer there's this jersey that i was seeing um Lewandowski he's a Polish soccer player I don't know that could be significant to you for some of you you could have blonde or yellow hair you could have just dyed your hair and I feel like you shocked somebody or somebody was taken aback you could be unrecognizable with this new look but I'm seeing bright blonde hair borderline yellow like it's kind of looking like uncooked spaghetti but not in a negative way that's just like the color that I'm seeing um 
I could have thought of so many other things. The sun, I'm so sorry, Goldilocks. Whoever you are out there, your hair looks great. Uncooked spaghetti, like it's late. It's really late. And I started channeling for you guys at two. I don't know how it ended up being 3.30, 3.50 right now, but um, the vibes are going and I'm just rolling with them. But moving forward, Either you're dealing with somebody who you feel like they're a dumbass, no offense, and then somebody else that you feel like is a sweetheart, or this is one person, you feel like someone's very sweet, but maybe you just feel like they're intellectually lacking. <laughs> I was also hearing mouse, which came up in the Aries reading yesterday. So if you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like you guys are taking on the mouse archetype here, but... I'm not seeing it in the same way that I was seeing it in their reading. I'm seeing you guys as the mouse, as like Tom and Jerry. But I saw this theory a couple years ago where it was like the real T is the cat was always protecting the mouse, whichever one is which, Tom or Jerry. Um, but yeah, he's like secretly protecting him. So you might have like a love-hate relationship with somebody Um that cat and mouse energy you may realize that somebody somebody may show tough love but it's like they're really just trying to protect you especially if you're dealing with a sag or a virgo this could be a sibling for some of you yeah i'm still trying to figure out where it's like sweetheart but intelligently lacking like how that is significant some of you are dealing if you're the mouse and there's a cat you could be dealing with a leo Maybe that's how you feel, but let's just move forward. Also, for some of you, I feel like somebody walked away from you in the past and they're coming back because they realized that this is what they prayed for. This doesn't have to be just relationship. This could be friendship. You could be a boss of a company. This could be somebody that quit and now it's like they're coming back because they're realizing, yeah, denial in reverse. So a lot of realizations, a lot of reflecting is going on currently. This is like the fourth time denial has come out and we haven't even started your reading, but it's coming out reverse. So it's clarity, you know, but um. Yeah, if this if you're the boss here, higher font energy, I just feel like whoever quit, so to speak, whether that's a job or a relationship, it's like they have some time to reflect and think about things. And it's like they realize this situation, this circumstance is exactly what I prayed for. Why would I walk away from it? So expect somebody to come to you. And I feel like they have clarity. They want to talk things over. They may want to tell you the way they were thinking at the time or the, the mind frame that they were in. But yeah, I definitely see that somebody's ascended here. Matured even. Beautiful. Um, I was also seeing a situation where somebody could be advocating for safety in parks. Just take it how it resonates. I was also hearing um, Theophilus. He was a high priest. You might want to do some research on him. For some of you, I feel like you went independent in your career. And since you did that, you're gaining a lot of popularity in your field. So congratulations to you if that's you. I have lots of names here. This could be you, somebody that you're dealing with, or somebody that you're meeting soon. I was hearing the name, um, the last name Garcia. I have Gabriel here, Leon, Robert, Mo, Christian. The initials GD, Kyle, Stacy D, like Stacy last name starts with a D. The name Adam's coming out again. Addison, Lisa, the last name O'Neill. I was also hearing Shaka, and when I looked it up, it means hang loose like this here. Some of you could be from Hawaii. I was also hearing the last name Fields, but you could have taken on that name when you got married. Some of you got married um, October 2021. So just take it how it resonates. Also, something about your roof. You may be getting something fixed with your roof. I'm also hearing that song. It's like the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. And I'm seeing that as your crown chakra. Yeah, illusion. So there's some, like I said, more enlightenment, more reflective energy coming into your, your crown chakra here. And I feel like once that begins, it's going to feel like, um, you're going to feel a lot of energy in your crown chakra. Some of you may be getting headaches over the next week. So just be aware of that. Get your rest. I'm also seeing like a gold necklace. It's a name plated necklace you may be wearing or it could be a zodiac. I'm seeing like 
Taurus, but it's gold or whatever your name is. For some of you, your Venus sign is your lover's sun sign. I was hearing that song. It's the Razor song. It's like, I'm your Venus. I'm your fire, your desire, something like that. Maybe you desire a fire sign. <laughs> um, also, yesterday I kept seeing dead birds in the street. They looked like the little magpies, the mockingbirds, which makes me think of the Pisces reading chosen one to kill a mockingbird, but also birds. That makes me think of like, like hoes, you know? You may see like, excuse my French, but like like two drunk hoes like laying in the street. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just seeing something really weird. It's not even the weekend yet, so we'll see how that plays out. Also, now's a really great time for you to listen to Hertz frequencies, uh, specifically 396, 417, 832, 528, 639, 963, and 741 will be really good for you. Um, these locations you could be traveling to from there. I was hearing Haiti, London, Amsterdam, Poland, New York City, Nebraska, um, Nevada, but I feel like there's a tower moment that's coming in Nevada here. Something about Wyoming and Norway. You could be from Boston and you could be a sports journalist. Some of you, you could be moving to Texas between July and October. I was also hearing something about the CSI and then I heard Pablo Escobar. There could be some type of big drug bust. For some of you, you could have a skull or skeleton sticker on your car. A lot of you are tapping into your Scorpio energy, your opposite. And I especially felt that when I picked this shirt to wear for you today. And yeah, I was hearing, I will meditate and destroy you. My best friend, she's a Gemini, posted somebody's hat yesterday and that's what it said i screenshotted it and i couldn't get it out of my mind when i was channeling for you so i feel like you guys have a very calm approach to i'm hearing nonsense like i'm seeing somebody talking but i'm hearing barking my dog just moved and it's like their mouth is moving but you can't hear it so for some of you it's like the way that you handle conflict is mentally or i don't know strategically in some way i'm hearing silent killer maybe that's you like letting your tribe handle it letting your guides handle it like all you got to do is meditate and the rest is taken care of already is something like that also speaking of meditation don't drive sleepy i was seeing someone fall asleep at the wheel the sun in reverse so just make sure you're getting your rest. For some of you, you could be visiting your parents' house soon. We're almost done, I promise. Um, also something about a Rolls Royce or a Jeep. If it's a Jeep, I feel like it's the color is cream. For some of you, you could be watching a concert that you missed online. I was also hearing your nephew's favorite band or artist. And then I saw something completely different. I was seeing a situation where you could have like promised your little sibling, your little nephew, like, oh, I'm gonna take you to this concert. Maybe something came up and you weren't able to. And I'm seeing them like walk around the house with the concert on their computer. And they're just like, oh, it would have been great to have been there. You know, like they're being hella shady. <laughs> So if you promised um, anybody under the age of 17 something and you didn't deliver or follow through, expect for them to be very, very, very shady. Mm -hmm. Maiden of clarity. They're going to hit you where it hurts the sun, especially if it's a little Leo. Um, I was also seeing Rita Ora. I don't really listen to her, but you could resemble her or maybe that's your favorite artist. Um... Also, if you're attending something, wear gold. I was seeing a two-piece gold outfit. I was also seeing a dress or an outfit that has like a hood attached to it. I feel like that'll be really cute. It's also here in Kodak. Some of you are into film photography. Something about spicy food or Alexander Hamilton. He's the guy on the back of the $10 bill. He was one of the founding fathers. He kept coming up as well. But what's interesting about him is he wasn't born in America. He was born overseas, but he was George Washington's right hand man. And because he was that, 
um, he was able to make like, you know, a mark on America, obviously, as a founding father. So I'm seeing a situation like that. For some of you, you could be foreign, you could be from somewhere else, but I feel like you bring the spice, you bring the culture that this organization is lacking. And I feel like that's why you're so valuable here. Also, I'm seeing a situation because the $10 bill makes me think of Libra energy, makes me think of Kim Kardashian for some reason, but more so how she started off with Paris Hilton, like, She's technically Armenian, foreign, but Paris is already established with her people having those hotels and her working for her was pretty much how she was able to build her own household name. So for some of you, especially if you're from overseas, somebody's going to take you under their wing and that partnership, that alliance is going to be what sets the foundation for the rest of your, I don't want to say the rest of your generations, like your descendants aren't capable of creating more but it's really going to lay the foundation for your future and i'm seeing those two specific examples kim kardashian and alexander hamilton so yeah i'm hearing i put on for my country on on for my country yeah some of you are moving to north shore hawaii some of you are getting a new tattoo. Some of you, you have like a thirsty aquarius around you i was hearing swayo s u-e-l-l-o i'm also seeing sue let's just look up what this means really quick we are about to get into the reading just the, the channel messages have been hitting lately and we have all the time in the world so sway y'all well with one l it means floor in spanish but i was seeing it with two sway y'all it says a commune in the province of Lecco in the Italian region Lombardy, located about 40 kilometers, 25 miles northeast of Milan, nice, and about seven kilometers southwest of Lecco. I don't know, maybe the Aquarius is from there. Their name could be Sue. I'm hearing hello, 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 like the end of the word. It just says E-L-L-O. But just take it how it resonates. Also, okay, two more messages. On the day of the equinox, I feel like you realize whose company shouldn't be around you. And if not on the day of the equinox, set an alarm for 8.02. It's 4.02 on the time. Yeah, set an alarm for 8.02 a.m., p.m., whatever. I feel like you're going to get a really unsettling omen about somebody who doesn't mean you any well. And I feel like Spirit's trying to cue that off to you. Also, somebody could be found guilty, and I feel like that shocks everyone. Last, last, last message. Hold on. You could be dealing with a cancer who resembles this girl. wait she looks so much different online than what i remember oh my god i don't even want to show this anymore because i i, I imagine her looking a little bit different but i was seeing the smart girl from reset i'm about to cry stop like, no offense to anybody, maybe they don't look like her per se, but they give off this energy. Remember her? Well, I was seeing her, so you could be, you could have red hair. God bless. Let's move forward. Yeah, we got everything. We got everything. <sighs> Let me just get comfortable really quickly. All right. Okay, guys, what is going on for Taurus? The magician on the bottom of the deck. And you have the Wheel of Fortune on top. Didn't I already tell you guys today was going to be a really serendipitous and magical day? Especially when it comes to your work. Um, okay, hold on. Some of you? Oh, man. 
some of you oh man okay i'm seeing a couple of things i see the queen of pentacles she's the only thing that came out upright that's your energy here three of pentacles eight of pentacles for some of you i'm hearing anti-guy I don't know what you do, but with the two of swords here, the king of swords in reverse, the king of cups in reverse, and the five of wands here, I'm getting like women only. Maybe you guys have a women's only organization, some type of nonprofit, but I just feel like there's some type of exclusion for masculine energy. This definitely is about work. This definitely is about your organization, but I just feel like you prioritize women here. Let me confirm. This could be something where it's like, you just don't have to deal with men. Like you could be a bikini waxer, you know what I mean? Or you could be a gynecologist or something like that. But I just feel like whatever you do, you don't have to intermingle or interact or it just doesn't prioritize men here. That's the first message I'm getting wheel of fortune i also feel like if you guys are trying to figure out what you should do as a career you need to especially if you're a woman even if you're a man you need to gear towards feminine energy i'm also hearing venusian energy yeah work with women invest in women you're gonna see a return on your investment yeah because you start with three pinnacles and it just all of a sudden just grows to eight there's five in between that, but I see the five of wands over here. So it's like when you eradicate, I'm not sure what you do, but it sounds so bad. I'm hearing when you eradicate the masculine energy from this, you're going to see a lot of growth. Maybe there's something you're trying to make for everybody, like you're trying to make it unisex, but something's just for women here and if you're masculine energy don't take any offense like i'm literally getting something like a gyno a bikini wax there's no fomo to be had here but yeah that's for somebody out there let's move forward <clears throat> taurus yes 23 on the bottom of the deck today is the 23rd and you have the golden palace here shuffle for taurus so yeah conflict is over your period of stagnancy has come to a close stuck in the mud dry desert feeling weighed down feeling heavy here feeling like nothing's not nothing's really moving forward there's no momentum here with the dry desert that always makes me think of tumbleweed just blowing in the wind you know not much to see there's no where to plant anything like there's nothing growing here so if you guys have been experiencing that gemini season this is closing out i'm hearing over the next week yeah talisman and wishing well you guys are on a brand new journey beautiful um let me see anything else for taurus I'm hearing brought to you by this might be prompted by whatever goes down on the 27th yeah magical map shifter it's like after that day everything magically shifts around and then there's movement here for some of you there could be a breakup involved because I'm seeing solitude right after movement so that only makes me think that obviously something magically shifted that caused you to want to be on your own and it's like now like we said stuck in the mud with that big elephant you're not weighed down anymore you're not feeling heavy so whatever is not meant to be in your life it's leaving here also you might want to look up the spirit animal of the ostrich can't tell if that's an ostrich or an emu here but i'm hearing don't stop me now because i'm having a good time having a good time so yeah the chariot that's usually cancer's theme song the chariot's gonna be taking off for you guys something about today there's something about today you have rescue here you have movement here let's actually clarify this 
For some of you, this change, this movement is rescuing you from that stagnancy. It's like by way of this movement, these changes that you're making, you know, this journey that you're embarking on, that's simultaneously rescuing you from being stuck in the mud, from being in that dry desert, from being in the barren land. And a slideshow just popped up of some more classical music and it looks like they're in a city doesn't look like too much is growing. I do see a river in the middle, but it looks very barren. So some way, shape or form, like you're being, I'm seeing a different word. It's not rescued, but it's, um, I can't think of it right now. It'll come back to me. It's like a synonym a positive synonym for displacement. I know a thousand percent you're being guided. I feel like warm air on my left arm. <laughs> it's kind of strange. But okay, let's move forward. Whoo! Where did the music go? I wonder what my dog's dreams are like just hearing this all day. <laughs> Let's see, shuffle for Taurus. Death and transformation on the bottom of the deck. And yeah, I was just going to say, I feel like Queen of Swords on top. I feel like the most important thing for you to know is today starts some type of momentum, some type of new journey here. There's a peak on the 27th, like we said, but just know today is going to be a very magical day. Pay attention to what happens. Make sure you set all those alarms because with the death card here, things will never go back to the way they once were. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or some of you are just kind of taking a stand and speaking up on behalf of something and that's going to put some changes into place here but just know for everybody collectively shit changes today shit changes today like that shit <laughs> that's just all it is let's let's confirm what is this queen of swords it's been confirmed we're just clarifying pleasure here your masculine energy, some of you guys could be meeting a queen of swords today, could be a Gemini specifically. Clarify death, please. And I'm seeing you as the death card. Like we said, I feel like you guys are very much in your Scorpio energy, made in a revolution. You know, in order for you to understand all of the light, some of you had to go into the dark. Some of you guys had to get familiar with your other sides. And now that you've mastered that, the revolution is here ace of realization uh check your uranus placement yeah truth here gemini energy creativity and start watching the videos with that placement yeah. this next deck that we're using it's not even a deck it's just like a little card game that i have but what is significant about this is it has this hourglass that comes with it so i'm hearing like it's just a matter of time time's running out ticking time b-o-m-b you know all those things we said something about midnight it's kind of giving me cinderella vibes but let's just see what these cards say they might give some extra clues shuffle for Taurus. This makes me think of the homegirl we just pulled up from recess. It says something ugly. Let's clarify this. I don't know what this means and I don't even want to speculate because I just feel like something spicy is here, something ugly on the bottom of the deck. We have Ace of Realization and Child Innocence, Crone Ascension. Maybe this is somebody's personality or somebody's demeanor. Maybe they just don't have like a pretty aura or like it's just not a pleasant energy to be around. So it's not that the person's ugly, but it's just the way that they make people feel. 
is ugly, you know? Some of you are realizing this. And it's like with you realizing this, this is helping you ascend. Especially if you have this ugly energy around you on the 27th, whatever this is could be being eradicated. And as soon as that happens, your back being protected. You have the realization here. You have the crone ascension here. All of your chakras are aligned here. You're back in your... Wow. It's almost like you're growing up overnight. You have crone ascension from the child to the maiden here overnight. Just by just by switching to guy code, no, just by removing this ugly energy. So you definitely want to take that into account. Let's see the other side. I'm hearing red pill, blue pill. That's the blue side. Let's see the red. Shuffle for Taurus. Found. Oh my God, there's a card in my lap. It says the sacred pool. So that could be significant to some of you. But yeah, these cards say something found in the back of a, re a refrigerator, found in the couch cushions that gets your attention, that has great value, that you shouldn't make fun of. Some of you, you could have lost an important heirloom. And like it says, it's in the couch cushions here. It's somewhere, it's like in some type of crevice. I also feel like if you lost something important, don't vacuum until you find it, but you need to go through your couch. This could be something, it says that gets your attention. This could be something that's like very shiny, very expensive, very important here that has great value that you shouldn't make fun of. For some of you, this could be something religious. Let's clarify. But what's the back of the refrigerator? If you guys have any idea like what these little clues could mean, feel free to comment, speculate together. Sherlock Holmes. Now. Hold on real quick. For some of you, that ugly energy, you could feel like someone tried to freeze your energy in the back of a refrigerator and then fear comes out. And this could just be like trying to get you in your head, you know, get you in that analysis paralysis, have you frozen. And then we have the pool is being thawed out. So if that's the case, that's being resolved. Give it four days. I'm hearing things will never be the same. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to learn a really big lesson. You have Lady of the Stars here. I, I'm also getting like an unreachable, unattainable. If you think of a star, you see it. It's shining bright, but you can't touch it. You know, you don't know exactly where it is. And I feel like that's the energy that you're taking on. Shuffle for Taurus. soul retrieval that's what i'm talking about taking back what's yours i'm hearing you got the whole world in your hands and gemini rules the hand so pro tip during gemini season make sure you're getting your manicures make sure you're getting your um i'm hearing like your cuticles and all those things cleaned up and you're really just like if you do anything with your hands you want to make sure that you're stretching them just do whatever you need to do pear fan waxing is something that's really good especially if you have arthritis carpal tunnel or anything like that um going on in the joints i'm also hearing cod liver oil but just make sure you take care of your hands during gemini season um also, this could be a really great time for you to develop a new skill with your hands as well. But soul retrieval, I also feel like whatever you've done in many lifetimes, you utilize your hands. Like there's like a lot of energy in your hands. Some of you have an oral fixation, but it's because you hold so much energy in your hands that it needs somewhere to go. You know, let me clarify soul retrieval. Yeah, all you have is six. 
So June, Gemini season, Gemini energy, you have the fool. It's a brand new, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for Taurus. That is all I have for you. It's been 40 minutes. I can't wait to hear how this all um, manifests. And like I said, feel free to come back and let me know if things are a little bit personal. I know sometimes you guys prefer DMing me on Instagram or emailing me. You know, and I never mind any of that. So I really look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week, but more importantly, have a fantastic day because whatever happens today, it really kind of sets things in motion. It's the elixir, you know, that you needed in order to get this cycle going. So also make sure you take a second and thank your guides for this new opportunity and chance at life as well. So God bless Taurus and I will see you guys very soon. Oh...